Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can play Neo Geo games in PSP. Now for that we will need a MVS PSP emulator, which is a Neo Geo emulator which let us play Neo Geo games in PSP. Uh, and uh, with that we will also need some games of the Neo Geo. Uh, I have downloaded a couple from the internet which, are, which I play mostly, like KOF 2K2 and KOF 2K10 and Metal Slug and etc. After that, we need a ROM converter. Uh, this is an application which is runnable on the desktop. I will tell you in a bit what, why we need it. And uh, plus, we have a game list which is compatible with this emulator. You can play these all games with this emulator on PSP. These are Neo Geo games. Okay, so you can check it out. Uh, what I will do, I will put a link of uh, every file in the description. You can download it from there, so don't worry about it. Uh, let's. Uh, install the MB, uh, Neo Geo emulator on PSP and then I will show you how to play games on it. So go ahead and uh, click on MES PSP. The, these are the files which this emulator contains. It have two important folders I would like to show you like this one ROMs and the cache. Uh, ROM is the folder where all of our ROMs, Neo Geo ROMs will go. And uh, the cache is something which is needed to uh, PSP to run the Neo Geo games. Uh, I don't know what it, uh, what it is exactly, but uh, uh, this is something we need. Now every ROM have a cache. We will need a uh, separate cache for every ROM. Now, uh, as you can see, this ROM converter. This is a software which creates the cache of every game. Okay, so I will tell you uh, in a bit how to uh, create some caches. So first thing is that. Go ahead and copy this folder, MES PSP folder, and uh, go to your PSP. I have plugged in my memory card. So in the PSP folder, go to the game folder and paste it there. Okay. Now, next step is to go ahead and create some caches like I have created one uh, let me delete it and uh, rebuild it okay so and here is an application you can double click on it and it will ask you for the ROM that uh, which ROM you want to create a cache of uh, let me create the cache of Blaze Star so I have a couple of games and uh, I have to create cache of each and every game to make it run okay so let me create the cache of Blaze Star open it and it's creating the cache now as you can see it's completed and it's instructing us that please copy cache bill blessing sounds go for cache folder to directory PSP games and VPSP and the cache folder so it was saying that it have created a folder under cache we have to copy it into the cache folder of our MVS PSP game so let's go ahead and copy it and here is the game now now what I want is I want to create a cache of all ROMs I have so creating one by one cache is kind of a tedious and uh, time consuming so what I will do is uh, I will close this one and as you can see there is a, a, a file that says MES convert underscore all when we double click on it it will ask for a folder that uh, which folder contains your ROMs so mine is in downloads compressed Neo Geo and Neo Geo ROM so this is the folder which contains my all of the ROMs and I will hit on OK so this one is creating a uh, cache of every game every ROM which is present in my Neo Geo ROM folder so give it time OK so as you can see it's completed and it's instructing us that copy all the caches into an MES PSP cache folder okay so you can press any key to close it now when we see uh, open the cache folder we have cache of every ROM we have in the ROM folder we have created the cache of every game okay so next step we will do is we will copy these all caches and uh, we'll put it in the PSP game MES PSP and in the cache folder okay go ahead and paste it 
okay so it's done and the caches are uh, copied and now the next step would be to uh, copy all of the roms which you have just created caches of and uh, paste them in let me see where are they and copy those are roms and put them in the PSP folder games your emulator MES PSP and in the roms folder okay paste them um, okay. so it will take some time to uh, copy and paste because there are uh, plenty of uh, uh, roms now keep in mind that not all roms will work some of them will give you some problems when you are trying to create caches of that uh, uh, etc file is not found like uh, like say 251 dash one bin file is not found or something like that so what you have to do is keep uh, that find another rom of the same game from other website and you and you'll be good to go um, okay so uh, this uh, this how i uh, search these are roms from the internet i took my time and uh, got my favorite favorite roms and uh, make them run okay so i will provide you the link of my roms so don't worry i will provide you links of the of these roms you can download them okay so what I will do now is I'm going to skip the recording and will show you that uh, whether it's running on a PSP or not. Okay. Okay, guys. So I have inserted my memory card in PSP and uh, let's check whether games are running or not. Okay. Uh, so here's our Neo Geo. Okay. So, and let's start it. Okay, so it's started. The emulator is working, and uh, here are our games which we have just inserted. Uh, let me zoom it better. Okay, now as you can see, all of the games are present here which we just inserted. Okay, so let me play a game of a Neo Geo uh, King of Fighter 97. Okay, so let me start it. And click on or saying okay, it's a W in switch there okay. so it's loading and it's started as you can see the Neo Geo is on uh, PSP and it's working just fine okay, let's uh, play a bit uh, Inserted coin, inserted coin played. And okay, so as you guys can see, there is working just perfect. And uh, I hope you like this video. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, or like. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.